Welcome back to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Die coins on top of the live ones, so have a conversation with you all, so we're gonna let them talk. Strong words from Taiko and Kogi I think that match between him and Danny Jampas could be down by explosive. Indeed, you're right, Corky. And meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready, uh, hold on, wait a minute, folks. We're shaming man's office. And now, oh, wait a minute. Sid Phoenix wants to talk to Shane McMahon. Oh, this should be a very interesting conversation. Let's listen in. A matchup that Shane McMahon just made. Ladies and gentlemen, that by the war is there, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. And we are ready for this battle royal, which was made by Shane McMahon. The winner of this battle royal will get a cruiserweight title shot on the next episode of the main event in a triple threat match between new cruiserweight champ Sid Phoenix, former cruiserweight champ Stardust, and the winner of this battle royal. I tell you what, C got and also, can you believe that? Um, Sid Phoenix wants Johnny Rocker? I mean, that, that, that's stunning. I mean, Sid Phoenix wants a piece of Johnny Rocker. I mean, that, that's shocking to me. But can you blame him, Corky? I mean, as we see Cody Rhodes in the ring, I mean, can you blame him? I mean, as a person who says that he's a rocker. And Sid Phoenix thinks that he's a better rocker than when anyone else in WCW. And I'm not going to argue with him one bit. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes our next participant in this battle royal. The Brian Kendrick. I tell you what, he called this battle war between these six fans. I tell you what, in this cruiserweight division, I mean, this cruiserweight division is like a train wreck. It's like a car wreck waiting to happen. Because you're going to have bodies flying all over the place. Because these, all these cruiserweights, I mean, all these cruiserweights from the city finish on down, these cruiserweights can fly. Mm hmm. And then you're right, Corky. So this should be very interesting. As the Brian Kendrick is making his way on down here to the ring. And this matchup is going to be highly colossal. This matchup is going to be epic. And this matchup is going to be huge. Well, you're actually right, see, God. This, this is going to be one huge matchup. It should be very interesting. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and here comes the next participant. And he just joined WCW not too long ago. Here comes TX. I tell you what, I like this. I like this kid. TX3 is a very strong athlete, in my opinion. I think TX3 has what it takes to go out and compete. I think TX3 may be a future cruiserweight champion on down the road. But I think he probably might want to go for something a little bit bigger down on down the line. Indeed, you're right, Corky. And you know, now you gotta like TX3. He made an impressive debut when he debuted about a couple weeks ago. If I remember it me correctly, and it should. And who did he beat in his first matchup? What's he called? It's Cody Rhodes. Exactly. So this should be very interesting as TX3 is ready to go. TX3 is ready to compete here in WCW in this battle royal. TX3 with a big smile on his face. And look at the fireworks go off as we get ready for this battle royal. That's, good. That's participant number three. And here comes participant number four. Well, I tell you what, see, guy. Here comes Christian, the fourth participant in this battle royal. I tell you what, I like Christian's chance in this matchup. I really, really do. 
Christian has experienced being in a matchup like this. You know, Christian, you know, he, he wants to be a Cruiserweight champion. He wants to prove to everyone here in WCW that he has what it takes to be a champion. Can he do it? Can he pull it off? That remains to be seen. That matchup, but this one's going to be very interesting. Indeed, let's tell you once again, ladies and gentlemen, in this battle royal, only pinfalls and you could be eliminated by pinfall, submission, or over the top rope. But yo, I see Carter, that's the only way to win this battle war. Last guy standing wins the whole king boot. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's the best way how I could put it. Last man standing gets a title shot against Sid Phoenix and be in that triple threat match with Sid Phoenix and Stardust for that Kuzure title. That matchup is going to be down by huge. And it's going to be in an epic matchup indeed. And the Yawai Kwaki ass. Christian gets ready for the next matchup. And here comes the next participant, ladies and gentlemen. And we haven't seen him in a blue moon. Here comes JTG. What do you want to see, The last time we saw JTG was, if my memory serves me correctly, the second episode of the main event when Chad, I mean, busted him wide open. But now JTG is back here in WCW. It's great to see him back here in WCW. Oh, I agree with you, Quirky. I agree with you because I mean, at first we all we we all was worried. We all were concerned that uh, that um I forgot Chad. Thank you. I think Chad. We all we all thought that Chad put him out, but JTG is right back in here in WCW. He's all set up and ready to go. Ooh, I tell you what, this matchup is going to be huge, and JTG wants to tie the shot. For that Kuzure title. You know, on the first episode of the main event, C. Carter, JTG took on Stardust. Mm -hmm. And had not been for Chad attacking, interfering in that matchup, I think that JTG would have been Kuzure champion, at least in my opinion. But I had to agree with you on that one, Corky. And ladies and gentlemen, the final participant in this battle royal is the formal intercontinental champion. Here comes Evan Bourne. Well, I tell you what, Evan Bourne, you know, he has to put what happened at the Great American Bash behind him. Okay, you lost the Intercontinental title. That's understandable. We can, you can, we can understand that you're mad. We can understand that you're upset. Mm -hmm. But the best thing for you to do is get up, dust yourself off, and try again. Go up, go out there and compete. Be, do the best you can. And try to win a title. You can't just say just dwell on one loss. That's the right, Corky. As Evan Bourne is ready to go, there's the bill, and this match is on the way. Whoa! Oh man, I tell you what, I told you, see, Carter, these cruiser races are just like a train wreck waiting to happen. Good to try to keep up with this action, but now I got a feeling we're gonna have a hard time doing so. We got uh, TX3, and yo, know, we are having a hard time keeping up with this action in this uh, in this battle royal, and as. TX3, we got pinned and a quick kick out by Christian. Meanwhile, JTG and no wait a minute, TX3 just hit Cody Rhodes and now and now we got double teaming situation. Oh look at this, he got like this double teaming. That's a double DD. I think that was a double suplex. And this thing continues to get on the hand. TX3 and Cody Rhodes are getting it on. That's a suplex. Meanwhile, we got uh, Christian and the Brian Kendrick. They're getting it on. And now we have Evan Bourne and JTG. They're getting it on. Well, I tell you what, we got we got we. This is this is breaking down a little bit. No one's been eliminated yet in this matchup. And like we said, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we still do have some technical difficulties. So please bear with us as this matchup continues to get. As this matchup continues, but I tell you what, you know, I mean, let me ask you this question, quick. who you like in this matchup? Well, I, I got to admit, see, Carter, I have to admit, I think my favorite, I like Christian's chance in this matchup. I think Christian has a good chance at, at winning this battle war, in my opinion. Now, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, you know, TX3, you know, can pull off an upset. If he does pull off an upset, get a title shot, I wouldn't be surprised. Because he's that good. But right now, when I mean, you got six people in the ring, six people that can compete. Oh, man. What a net breaker. When I mean, you got six people that can compete, I really, really do like, I really, really do think that, um, uh, and I really do think that, um, I really do think Christian will win this thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
And now I call it TX3 now and oh man, what a kick to the face. Oh man. And now TX3 is up at the top. Oh, oh man. I thought for most that he called it. He was about to go for the Miami Massacre. But um well, he had other ideas apparently. And now TX3 now doing the normal. TX3 now and I think yep. Yeah. Oh man, what a move by the Brian Kendrick. Oh man. This thing's getting out of hand, C Car. This thing's this thing's getting intense now. And now Christian doing the number on Evan Bourne. TX3 doing the number on D Brian Kendrick. They JTG doing the number on Cody Bolts. We got action going on all over the place right now. I tell you what. Right now and there's a hit scissors by TX3. TX3 now doing the number on Evan Bourne. And now D Brian Kendrick now working on Christian. I tell you what, C Car. Like I said, we got action going on all over the place. And I know it's hard keeping up with this action. Meanwhile, up at the top road. Oh, oh man. Oh man, what a move by TX3. Oh man, I tell you what. The, the, these cruise rates are flying, see Carter. Oh man. What a move by TX3. And meanwhile, TX3, there's a wall up. We got one. We got oh and a kick out. Oh man. Oh man, I tell you what, it's hard keeping up in this thing. Like we said, three way chicken get eliminated in this matchup. Pinfall, submission, or over the top wall. And oh man, try to go for a more song. And now, D. Brian Kendrick working on Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne reverses it. And we almost had a pin. And oh man, that was a close one. That was close. One. I thought for a moment there that TX3 was about to be eliminated, C. Carter. And meanwhile, oh man, TX3 was climbing up to the top tumbuckle. But he was stopped. He was stopped. And now, the, oh wait a minute, D. Brian Kendrick has TX3 up there. Uh oh. Oh man, hugging water. Oh man. Oh boy, this is insane. And that, that's, oh, what a bulldog. On every ball. We got pinned. We got pinned. And a kick out. And a kick out by TX3. Oh man. I tell you what, no one's been eliminated yet. Uh, how long would that be? That means we seen. Oh man. What a close line by Cody Rose. And now, what do you mean? Oh man, I thought one more thing had pinned. Oh, that was a close one. And now. And now TX3 now. I mean, we got action going on all over the place. Corey Walsh just went down. TX3 now. Trying to work on somebody. And we're trying to keep up with this. Wait, we got Roller. We got Roller, C. Connor. And yeah, I think. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. No one's been eliminated yet. Oh, man. It's hard keeping up with this action. And now, ladies and gentlemen. And now TX3. D. Brian Kendrick is eliminated, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Hey, and I think we're missing elimination. No, wait a minute. Yeah, but I think we're missing elimination, C. Carter. Because Evan Bourne's going too. Oh, man. And speaking of gun. Speaking of gun, I think, yeah, JTG's going as well. With that in the three. Oh, man. Oh, we have to apologize. We missed who eliminated Evan Bourne. Oh, man. We're down to the final three. Oh, I tell you what, C. Carter. And then. Oh, what a kick. What a roundhouse kick. Oh, man. And now, TS3 climbs up at the top. Oh, the Miami Massacre. Oh, man. He's winning everyone with that Miami Massacre. One, two, three. The match is over. And now we're down to just two. We're down to just two. We're down to just two. What a war. What a fight. And now, look at this by TX3. What a suplex into a pin. Into a pin. And, and a kick out. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This thing's going. This thing is epic. And now, TX3 now. Oh, what a move. Oh, what a huge move. And now, TX3. Doing all the work he can on Christian. Doing all the work. Doing all the work he can. And, oh, what a kick. Oh, boy, I tell you what. And now he climbs up because he caught it. And here he comes again. The Miami Massacre. One, two, three. The match is over. And TX3 wins the Battle Royal. And TX3 will get a Cruiserweight title shot on the next episode of the main event. Will he be in that triangle matchup? Not a triple threat match. Between him, Sil Phoenix, and Stardust. What a colossal fight, he had. And what a colossal move we're going to have next week in a triple threat match as TX3. If this is only his second matchup, and he's going to get a Cruiserweight title match. Well, well, epic battle. Folks, we'll be right back, so stay tuned.